it's finally got the dogs calm, so I'm going to take you into the bathroom on my own. But this door... <laughs> that makes it sound really weird. Did it? One of the main centrepieces of the house is our lovely stairs. Why do you keep being up. creepy? <laughs> Kiwi! <laughs> See, that was creepy again. Was it? <laughs> Why do you keep being creepy? <laughs> Oh, that's better. <laughs> oh, it's time for a fight. <clears throat> oh. oh, it's cold outside. <laughs> so this is it, everybody. Our lovely tiny house <coughs> that we have lived in, apart from Luna, for the last three years and like five weeks. And this over here is our lovely hallway where we take off our shoes and pile them all up because there's not much space and there's too many shoes. So we've got the kind of everywhere, but we have got a shoe rack over here, which can house six pairs of shoes. So we've got a few in there and then the rest of them just kind of like get dumped over here. Over to my right hand side is our fridge. And this is kind of sitting in a bit of a recess of the wall. So originally the wall was kind of just like flat here and the bathroom was bigger, but we actually requested that there was like a recess here so we could put our fridge freezer in there, which actually works really well. It's not a full size fridge, it's a bit smaller, but it fits in there fine. And then microwave on the top. Directly opposite the hallway, we've got our marvellous kitchen over here. We've got four kitchen units, no more, no less. We've got washing machine all the way over here on the left. And then we've got our lovely electric oven, normal oven, nothing weird about this, nothing tiny about it. It's just a, a normal conventional oven, same as a washing machine. And then we've got one cupboard, which has kind of got stuff in it. <laughs> and then we've got a four drawer unit over to the right. This isn't normally this tidy. We normally have like bits and pieces everywhere as we go. But this is our main like working space, I suppose. We've got just like a normal sink here. We've got an air fryer over here, which is a relatively new addition. We've, I think we've had this maybe about a year now, but prior to that, we just used the oven. But this is really useful. We use that all the time. Um, got our four burner hob here, over there. And then we put up this pan rack in the corner. It's got all our pots and pans and a few bits and pieces on it as well. If we didn't have this pan rack, we would have like nowhere to put anything. So yeah, this was one of the best things that we bought. Naturally, we don't have. Oh, hello, Big B. Hello, no. <laughs> David bashed it. <laughs> Naturally, we don't have much storage space in our kitchen. So what we actually did is we removed the plinth underneath the kitchen units, and we're kind of using space underneath. And what we've got under there, we've got. Oh my goodness me! There's a fight going on. <laughs> we don't have too many things underneath here because I'm a little bit worried about not having enough airflow and things getting mouldy. But we have a couple of things, so dog food, we've got some dumbbells on here, under here, a couple of heavy dumbbells. Sprite. <laughs> Sprite cans. We've got the food processor and a few attachments and stuff under there. Um, and that's pretty much it. I do keep a condensation trap under there though, so if there is any moisture then that should kind of like slurp it all up. But yeah, it's quite useful to utilise this space under the kitchen because there are like limitations to what we can have and you kind of need to utilise the space really. Come on. Go. Come on. Go. Go. Go on in. Come on. Come on. Up here. Go. Up here. Come on, Diggs. Come on, Diggs. Sit with Mama. Oh. Okay. This is the kind of living area, living space, sofa area. It is a sofa bed, but we haven't used the sofa bed very much. Joss has used it a couple of times because he's just wanted to kind of. I don't know, have a sleepover downstairs or something. It's also the kind of sofa that has storage in this part. Uh, and so we've got basically just like paperwork in there, like any important documents. And we've got a few different bits and pieces. Underneath me here is a footstool, which obviously makes the sofa... Good for fighting. Good for fighting. <laughs> yeah. In this footstool is most of my clothes. Uh, and then also because we have two miniature Jacksons that are being crazy today for some reason, we have a ramp there for them to get up and down. Although they 
don't always use the ramp so we have to try to encourage them to use the ramp obviously where our sofa is facing is our TV set up and so we also have our PlayStation which is attached to the wall the other thing that we have in front of me that's also attached to the wall <laughs> is the Dyson Hoover which is another really big essential in um, in a tiny house I mean not not necessarily Dyson in particular, unless Dyson want to sponsor this video, uh, but not necessarily Dyson in particular, just any kind of handheld hoover that attaches to the wall. Uh, if you're going to live in a tiny house, you definitely don't want a, a big Henry the Hoover, um, if any of you know what that is. One other thing we do have oh. is our current scratch map of the UK. All of the bits in green we have visited. <laughs> And then all of the, the golden areas we're yet to visit, so we've still got a long way to go, but we're gradually scratching off the UK map. Before we leave our main room, which by the way is only eight feet wide, and I don't actually know how long this is. Well, how long's the house? Of the whole house is about 18 feet long, but I think that might be the external dimensions. Okay. So the internal is like 17 and a half feet. But this section over here is, I suppose, what you could say our dining room. This is where we kind of just eat and Josh does his homework. I don't know, it's kind of a bit of a desk space really, but we never actually use it as a desk because we work on the sofa. But this is kind of our dining room anyway. You've got a nice table here, a lovely plant, beautiful window, and then, well, the, we have got the bin. two. Huh? The bin? The bin, yeah, we've got the bin. Which we, goes under the table. Yeah, kind of almost table. fits under there. We do have two fold-up chairs, which we only ever really one. Of them's one. There. And even then we don't use it very often. One of us tends to sit on the shoe rack footstool thing because that just like works quite well and then yeah we don't really get the chairs out very often but we do have a couple of chairs in case we need them. Becky's finally got the dogs calm so I'm gonna take you into the bathroom on my own but this door... <laughs> that makes it sound really weird. Did it? <laughs> I'm gonna take you into the bathroom <laughs> on my own. This door back here is the gateway to the bathroom. Oh. It's very exciting. <laughs> Be prepared. <laughs> Ta -da! I actually really like our bathroom. It's quite a good size. I don't really know the best way to show you this because I can't really get too many angles in here. But basically, let me turn the camera around. So as we go in the bathroom, we have kind of like towels and stuff hanging up on hooks and then dog towels up there. We've got a towel rail on the wall, a heated towel rail which has got uh, the dog coats and vest hanging on at the moment. They're drying. We've also got the dehumidifier running at the moment to try and keep this room dry. But this is basically all the space that we have. I reckon it's around about a meter squared, I suppose, in there. And then we've kind of got the vanity unit in the sink. Our toilet is around to the left there. We've got a composting toilet, so it doesn't have a water supply or anything. We can talk a bit more about that in another video and we've got a lovely window at the back, some photos on the wall, and then on the other side, we've got another towel drying there. We have our shower. So we actually have a reasonably good sized shower. I think it's about just over a meter long and about 90 centimeters wide, I think, which is kind of like a standard size for a shower. Everything in here, the sink, the shower, the oven, the washing machine, everything is just like a standard full size appliance the shower is not an appliance or anything but everything's like basically full size so we're not compromising on anything like that i don't know why i'm holding these <laughs> i'm just like hold holding them up as well i'm just like holding off a spray bottle and i really don't even know why i'm doing that <laughs> so yeah that is, that is pretty much the bathroom again eight feet wide and what's that about about four feet long i suppose or yeah eight feet by four feet something like that and then obviously behind us is the recess for the the fridge freezer so yeah tiny bathroom but does everything you can possibly want a bathroom to do so one of the main centerpieces of our house is our stairs which takes us to the second floor or first floor because you've got ground floor and first floor don't you we do sometimes keep things on the stairs just because we don't have places to put them anywhere else but generally we try and keep this quite clear but yeah, it's, it's kind of like a cross between a ladder and stairs. So the treads are kind of like flat, so they don't hurt your feet or anything, but it kind of like is a bit of a ladder as well. So it's kind of a bit of a hybrid really. 
And it's a ladder on purpose because that takes up less room than stairs. Yes, it does. Although you could get stairs with like stair storage. Yeah, but he said that would take up so much yeah, room. So if we had stairs, it would go all the way, like sort of back that way, rather than being like quite upright. You can't watch your head at the top though, because we haven't got much headroom. I have measured the headroom up here before, and I think it's around about four and a half feet. So it's not very much. If I straighten my legs, this is kind of where I'm at. <laughs> and this is just down the middle as well, because obviously we've got the pitched roof either side. So you definitely can't stand up upstairs, but I don't actually think you really need to be able to stand upstairs because when you're up here, you're just laying down. So yeah, it's not really an issue. Sometimes we bang our head on the roof. That actually happens quite often, especially when we're going up and down the stairs because often bang with shoulder. yeah, this corner here, we kind of like turn around there to go up and down the ladder and we quite often bash ourselves on that. But that's kind of like part of the fun, isn't it? So yeah, sometimes bash our head on the roof but other than that, when we're up here, we're just like laying down anyway. Usually get dressed downstairs, so yeah. The height really isn't too much of an issue upstairs. But this is our main bedroom anyway. We have a full king size bed, so none of that tiny rubbish. Full king size bed, and we have a shelf at the far end, which has got kind of like just bits and bobs on it. We've got a fan over in the corner, and we've got an air conditioning unit, which we used in the summer that's tucked away at the moment because we're in the middle of winter at the moment so we certainly don't need that and then we've got what we originally thought was going to be the dog bed for both the dogs but Digby doesn't really like going on this because Luna goes on it and they kind of like don't really cuddle up which is a bit of a shame but we've got Luna's bed over there which has a duvet on the top and then she kind of likes to go underneath the duvet and climb in there and make it kind of like all nice and cozy and everything so yeah that's Luna's bed over there and then at the foot of our bed this is Digby's bed. He likes to sleep in there on his own and he doesn't like to be disturbed by Luna. So she sleeps over there, he sleeps over there and everyone's happy. Becky's coming up the stairs to show you the other half of the upstairs. <laughs> and Digby's coming because otherwise he's going to bark. What are you doing, Dix? I think this is one of Digby's favourite places. Oh, shake it off. Shake it off. So this... I wonder if I can do like a tricep hole. Yeah, you can. Oh, oh. So this is the bridge which leads to Joss's room. And the bridge is just really, really cool. Um, basically, I suppose the point, the purpose in having the bridge <coughs> is so that <coughs> instead of just having like a fully covered over top floor is that you get like the light still coming in from upstairs and you're not just blocking out that light and making downstairs really dark. Mm. Uh, speaking of light, we have a Velux window over there. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, another window over there, which dun, 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 you've seen. <laughs> another window there. Hey. And then, in Joss's room, there <laughs> is <laughs> another dun, 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 Velux window. Dun, dun, dun. Digby, Digby, oh, sorry, Digby. Room. There you go. They're showing Okay, that's comfy, is it? Okay. This is Joss's room. This is obviously quite a small room. It's basically just space for a bed and he's got a little dinky chest of drawers. He doesn't need much space anymore. When we moved into this tiny house, he was 10. 10, yeah. He was 10. And by the time Joss was 10, I mean, this is different for every child, but by the time Joss was 10, he was done with most of his toys and things like that. And he was just into his Nintendo or his Xbox or whatever it whatever game console was that he had at the time. So when we first moved in, in the move-in video, there is a video of him like lining up all his teddies on his bed, which is really, really sweet. This is my bed in the tiny house. I've got all my teddies. I've got Digby sitting on there. Digby likes looking at the window and chewing my llama. But apart from that, he didn't really have too much stuff, so he didn't need a big room. Um, and he was really kind of content with this space. Ooh. But yeah, this is his little room with his clothes and a few bits and bobs, um, school bag and stuff like that. Yeah. The only difference with Joss's room as opposed to our room <laughs> is it is literally just the pitched roof and yeah. that's it. So I have slept in here before. The bed fits fine long ways, but you have to watch your head for like 
banging on the roof. Oh, yeah, when Lena had her operation. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I was like, why did you sleep with it? Yeah, but you've got to just be careful of kind of like banging your head on, on, the, um, on the roof there. Whereas in our room, we have kind of like an open space at the head. So you don't really have that, that same problem. So there you have it, everybody. That is kind of pretty much a full tour of our tiny house. A few things have changed over the years since we first moved in, but the house itself, size-wise, is exactly the same. So, But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.